Is there a link between so-called man-made global warming and extreme weather events? Well, instead of me having a political opinion, let's get a scientific opinion by a PhD in meteorology, someone who used to be a researcher at, at Environment Canada, and in fact, in 2007, was an expert reviewer with the UN's IPCC, that's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Dr. Madhav Kandekar joins us in studio. Now, Dr. Kandekar, great Thank to see you. Thank you very much. Now, you came out with this report just about a week ago, the Global Warming Extreme Weather Link. That's correct. A review of the state of science. Correct. Well, what does the science say? Well, what I have argued there is that extreme weather events were always occurring in the Earth's climate, you see. It is not a recent phenomena. They were occurring when the climate was cooling, even otherwise, and so to link now extreme weather events to human activity is incorrect. That's now, my view. That's your view, but it's actually the view of the IPCC also. Here, let me put on the screen uh, a <laughs> statement that they made uh, in the last uh, official review of the science just a couple of months ago. Let me read this. This is the UN itself. There is medium evidence and high agreement that long-term trends in normalized losses have not being attributed to natural or anthropogenic climate change. Now, now, there's a little bit of scientific jargon there, but Dr. Kanekar, correct me if I'm wrong, the IPCC, the official climate change bureaucracy itself, says there's no link, which tells me that anyone who makes the link is just doing so for journalistic hype, am I right? <laughs> I think I have referred to that. It is more a media hype yeah. and a public perception. But even the UN itself, which is the chief cheerleader of the global warming theory, they say, yeah, folks, it's not happening, are they? Well, I think what happened was in the earlier documents, for example, in 2007, they linked some of these events very definitely to human CO2. Now they are slowly backing away. Yeah. For example, they are not now saying that the tropical cyclone or hurricane intensity is becoming greater because of human CO2. Mm -hmm. They're also not linking now the global drought. In fact, what has happened in the last five years, we have more rainfall worldwide. Huh. In fact, last, just recently, you might have read in South Asia, so they have been having rain after rain after rain. It happens. It has happened in the past. So I think the rainfall on an average has increased by between 2 to 5 percent globally, which is helping agriculture. Well, that's the thing. I mean, people say, what would the world be like warmer? Well, we know because a thousand years ago, I mean, when the Vikings came to Newfoundland, it was two degrees warmer. They could plant. Definitely. Green. They called definitely. it Vinland. They I think you, you said green. it right. In yeah. fact, the Vikings, as I remember I, in one of my papers, they were actually uh, having ski, skiing or uh, in uh, boating where there is permanent ice pack right now, you yeah. see. So I think ice was, uh, Arctic was almost ice free a thousand years ago. Hmm. We have now ice free Arctic, but not completely. Now yeah. I think the latest is that Arctic ice is coming back. Right. So I think these cyclic phenomena have happened all the time, yeah. and it is incorrect to link that this is due to human CO2 or human activity. Yeah. I'm looking that, at that's you, the your report. I mean, you get I'm very making. specific. You talk about tornadoes yeah. and, and floods well, and IPCC hurricanes. IPCC never, never linked tornadoes right. to human activity. Well, and and in that's fact, correct. You look at the hurricanes, there's actually hurricanes, been a decrease yeah. in fact, In, in fact, in the last three years, we haven't had a big hurricane, you know. In fact, this whole season, there was not a single landfall of hurricanes. Unfortunately, Philippines was yeah. hit hit well, by a very bad hurricane, and it, it can happen any But even that was, what, Category 3, I think? I mean, it's... Which one? The, the one in the Philippines. I, I mean, think obviously, it was probably around Category 4. Well, I mean, obviously it had an impact, but I think uh, that part of that is because the Philippines is not as industrialized, and they didn't take the preparations, and they're at greater risk. I mean, when yeah, hurricanes I hit... Think, I think that also, but at the same time, you know, Hurricane Katrina, which hit... New Orleans, yeah. you see, about 1,000 people died. That's true. Yeah. It is unfortunate. Yeah. But and to, I, to think, blame I think if Philippines had taken a little more precaution, they yeah. could have saved from 2,000 to maybe a few hundred, you yeah. see. I'm not saying that And I'm that not, and I'm not blaming them for not I'm taking enough preparation. I'm saying that it was very unfortunate. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. You have more development along coastal areas. You're going to have more interaction with, yeah. with waves and, that's, and that's hurricanes. Correct. That's correct. You're also, here's another thing. Now, compared to 50 or 100, or even, of course, 1,000 years ago, the ubiquity of cameras and all news stations and 24-hour 
CNN and Fox yeah. News. So yeah. anything that does happen, it's instantly In, global uh, news. That, that is another issue yeah. too. You see, 50 years ago, if there was a big event in the middle of, uh, say, African Republic, etc., Democratic Republic of Congo or somewhere, yeah. we wouldn't even report it, you yeah. see, and yeah. we wouldn't know. Yeah, so we, we, we yeah. feel that more event, extreme events are occurring because every single day somebody says, oh, there was some big rainfall yeah. occurring there, there was big drought here, and there was big flood here, and so we tend to think, oh, yeah, they are increasing, but they are not. Uh, In reality, they are not. Uh, Dr. That's Canada, the point I'm making. It's, I, I, you're making it very clearly and passionately, and it's an outstanding report. It's called The Global Warming Extreme Weather Link, a review of the state of science. That's and correct. it's published by the Global Warming Policy Foundation. So That's good to have you on yeah. the show. Thank you for being here.